Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Lucas. Uh, I'm a chef uh, here in Prague in Czech Republic. Today I will be reviewing the Guan Tran uh, how to cook Czech Republic food video. So let's go. Life is such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. <laughs> I said yesterday, guys, Christina, shout out to you again for sending me a Czech Republic famous dessert. Probably one of the best cake I ever had. I ain't gonna lie. In Czech Republic, we have uh, many of really good desserts. So uh, let's uh, try it out when you when you get here. To celebrate this beautiful cake, we gotta make a Czech Republic dish. Beef goulash. Let me show you how easy it is to make the best Czech beef goulash ever. For first, uh, I don't think the beef goulash is uh, easy to make. It's uh, it's kind of like I don't know, like medium medium range. Don't blink. We're gonna start off like this. So in the pot, we got two tablespoons of olive oil going in. Next, I got a pound and a half. No olive oil, definitely no olive oil for uh, Czech beef goulash. Uh, that's bullshit. And uh, it's not uh, really good for uh, like frying uh, this kind of stuff. Because you have to fry the, the onions to a really dark brown color. Uh, it's uh, the beef goulash should be like really brown, and uh, the the color comes from the the seared onions. Uh, I would prefer to use lard, or you know maybe beef fat also. Half a chuck beef here, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper. Once I got this nice and brown, in goes one cup of onion, one tablespoon of. Garlic. So uh, the the meat is not really seared, as you can see, and he's putting uh, the the onions on top of the meat with the uh, garlic, but the garlic uh, should not be there yet. Uh, you, as I said, you need to brown the the onions. Garlic, mix that in. Going with a quarter teaspoon of cumin. One tablespoon of paprika. Guys, I'm gonna put a little more than one tablespoon because I like paprika. If you guys like more paprika, add more paprika. Then I'm gonna go in with one tablespoon of tomato paste. And I got a can of whole tomatoes, which I'm just gonna crush in. Lastly, one liter of beef stock, low sodium. Take this beautiful mix. Okay, so, uh, as you can see, there's the, the onion is still kind of raw it's not uh it's not browned at all it's just raw onion and he's uh adding the spices and uh, the tomato paste so after that you really need to uh need to stir it quickly you have like five five minute maximum maybe less Way less. Because I like paprika. If you guys like more paprika, add more paprika. Then I'm gonna go in with one tablespoon of tomato paste, and I got a can of whole tomatoes. No whole, come on, no tomatoes at all for uh, Czech uh, beef goulash. The tomato paste is fine. Uh, we we are doing it even without the tomato paste. But uh, tomato, whole tomatoes, definitely not. Then he's putting it in some instant pot. It, uh, it's it's kind of cheat. It should be cooking for like three, four hours. You guys, I'm cheating a bit, but I want this done in 20 to 30 minutes, not one hour to two. And I want to thicken this goulash up as well. So I got three tablespoons of flour here to two tablespoons of water which I'm just gonna dump in so make sure you dissolve it first in cold water before you dump it in because you want no lumps I'm gonna take my strainer and then we'll dump it in I'm also gonna do one tablespoon of shit this is kind of disgusting uh, just uh, flour and water it's not how it's supposed to go you know uh, you can 
you can thicken it with the flour but you have to mix the flour uh, with the butter and and sear it for for um, like five five ten minutes uh also uh you can use bread for thickening and you can also use potato potatoes for uh for thickening and uh, you don't really need to add uh, flour at all because if you're doing the Czech beef goulash right you are adding the same amount of onions as the same amount of meat sugar just because it balance off that tartness of the tomato and i'm going to do another half tablespoon of salt pull this time capsule on <laughs> We're gonna set this for 30 minutes and we're just gonna let this do its magic. Next, you can't have beef goulash without dumplings. So, one cup of warm milk, two this milk, one tablespoon of yeast. To feed this beautiful yeast, one tablespoon of good old sugar. Mix this in and let the yeast activate. See all that beautiful foam there? Yeast activated. Oh, yeah. All right, crack my egg on the table. But one egg going in, two cups of flour. Take your beautiful clean hand. Get right into it guys and all we're looking for come on we all know this when we're making check dumplings it's a nice soft dough always look for a nice soft dough when you're making check dumplings once you got a nice soft dough cover this proof for 40 minutes check love okay uh, he is missing the bread um in this type of dumplings it's a bread dumpling so you have to uh cut some white bread in it uh we have uh, some types of, of uh, white bread like rohlik and hauska you just cut it in the cubes and mix it in the dough making czech dumplings once you got a nice soft dough cover this proof for 40 minutes czechs love fried cheese so i'm gonna do some fried cheese <laughs> so got some mozzarella here which i'm just gonna cut it on an angle not your best looking okay uh we do love uh fried cheese but not this type of cheese we use uh, Idam or Gouda. Uh, the coating should be the same, but uh, definitely not mozzarella. We serve it uh, with, uh, with the potatoes and tartar sauce. It's really common uh, like lunch meal in Czech Republic. And cut cheese slices but these will do guys i got some white flour here which i'm just gonna coat them with to be honest i don't even know why i cut it this way but you know what it is i don't know <laughs> i don't know too man why it is what it is now <laughs> all right so hey italian breadcrumbs pack it in i don't know what is italian breadcrumbs i just know breadcrumbs and also the panko and stuff like this but never heard of italian breadcrumbs in czech republic we just uh, took some some of that white bread some rohlik uh, and we dry it and then we uh then we grind it shake off any access throw it to the side once you got this nice and coated, into the freezer it goes. Dough has proved. Throw some flour on the counter. Throw some flour on my bread scoop router. Scoop this bread dough out. The flour in my hand. It's not bread dough. It has like eggs and milk. <laughs> uh, it's, it's not bread dough. You're missing the bread in, in the dough, you know. Uh, and you should not uh, involve any non-fermented flour to to the fermented dough what well, has fermented already you know and watch closely guys try chop haters will always claim this is fake that's what haters do <laughs> roll into a nice sausage or a hot dog it's got that nice roll down to a nice hot dog put it to the side I chop my bread in half just because it has to fit into this pot here and i have boiling water here all i'm gonna do take a piece dunk them into the pool i don't care if they can swim it's gotta get in. Cooking time for this, eight to 12 minutes. You know what? I'm gonna do two at a time because it will expand in the water there with the lid on. Mm -hmm. Minutes in, I'm gonna flip this. Whoa. Just because it's been cooking on one side, I'm gonna flip it to the other side. Come on, there you go. Throw on the lid, cooking for the remainder of the time. This in for about nine minutes. After nine minutes, pull them out.
just beautiful. Goulash complete. All I'm gonna do, hey, release the air. <laughs> Alright, best goulash ever. Oh, the whole tomatoes there. That's disgusting. Man, that should not be in your goulash. I think I gotta thicken this up more, but is the meat tender? Yes. You see, you see, it's it's not thick enough because there is like there is like raw 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 onions swimming there after that uh, half an hour. But actually, the the onions is what will thicken the the sauce when it's done right. Yes, it is. The meat is nice and tender, guys. So I'm just gonna let this cook with the lid off for a bit, just because I want this beef goulash. We should thicken this up a little more, but I think it'll be okay, guys. It'll be okay. We got our Czech dumplings. Oh, this is gonna be bad. You know what? It's all good. Jesus, the cutting. <laughs> you need sharp knife, man. Sharp knife. Just gonna chop it down. Ooh. I don't got any floss, guys. I should have used floss to cut this, but it's okay. You see how how much he he presses it. He presses it for like a half size. It's Jesus. Hopefully, this is expand out a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Take this. Yeah, save it, man. Save it. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is not how it's supposed to look like. There's like big pieces of of tomatoes and big pieces of onion. Uh and the squashed <laughs> Uh, squashed uh, dumplings. Yeah. Last day, I got some red onion here. I'll, I'll show you how it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to look like this. You see how now it's nicely brown it is? You see that the the sauce is thickened by uh, by the, the onions. I can see it uh, by the texture. Yeah, you see the texture? This is just bad. It's, it looks like uh, goulash soup, what my mother uh, made when I was when I was a kid. Top it off. Got some bean sprouts in there too. <laughs> I'll pick it out. There it is. Okay. What did I do, guys? How did this Vietnamese guy from Canada do on your beautiful dish? When you guys got I would rate it like three out of ten, four out of ten. But nice effort, nice cheating by the instant pot, but uh, doesn't look like it doesn't look good. I'm sorry. It's gonna come by. Quick time, guys. So you can't have a good Czech meal without your Czech Pilsner Urquell. Urquell. Did I say that right? Urquell. Pilsner so, Urquell. I heard it's very tradition to have a Pilsner Urquell. So I'm gonna pour myself one. This beer I was told was very famous because of their tops, I think, their bubbly top. Yeah, uh, because of the of the foam uh, the beer, should looks like this. Like one one third of the cup should be should be the foam uh, of the beer. Like this, you know. This is like typical lager in Czech. So I just want to point it out there. If I'm mm -hmm. top, guys, let's get into this. Oh, this is my twist, my take on. Authentic, <laughs> authentic Czech Republic food. So, you got the beer, the beer is authentic. You try to make some dumplings, okay? 
you make some stew okay is it authentic not much not much there is like huge room for improvement uh, improvement Pilsner Ruquera hey there's kids watching I, I would give you guys first sip but these kids guys these kids will always just take a sip I don't, I'm not hating on it but it always has this yeast like a very fermented yeast quick time nice wait I'm gonna microwave it because it has cooled down a bit I think that's the bad thing about cooking mozzarella stick when you make mozzarella stick you gotta eat it right away get the full effect of it yeah, you have to read it right away, not, not microwave it like, like you did. Like, what the fuck? Wait, did I give you first bite? Yeah, I did. I did. I think. I don't oh. know if I did or not. <laughs> Why are you eating mozzarella steaks with Czech beef goulash and lager? I don't get it. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I mean it's just it's just him eating the the rest of the video. Here's the thing. If you guys don't eat your cheese or fried cheese hmm, cooker here or what's it called again? Instant pot. It's such a savior. So if I just cook this by itself or on a pot itself, I think this would take about three to four hours I'll say. Or a little longer to get this nice and shredded there. Yes, three or four hours. I take my potato, not potato, bread dumpling. <laughs> See that, guys? You guys, this dish with the beer. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. This is beautiful. I had mushrooms. Oh, I forgot what it's called. And beer. Beef goulash and beer is very hearty. Here it is. This. Oh yes, the the desert, the Czech Czech desert that he spoke about. A little sticker here. All right, hold my plate. Oh, that's a medovnik. It's uh, like a honey honey cake. It has many layers with some cream, and uh, the the dough is like uh, like a honey biscuit dough. It's really good. Look at that. <laughs> All right, push this to the side. Yes. Take my plate, put it here. Let's eat. They told me to eat this with coffee, being the best uh, beverage for any cake ever. Mm. Made in Edmonton, originally from Czech Republic. I'm not sure if it's originally from Czech Republic, but uh, it's used to uh, eat here and make here. Okay. That's it. I hope you guys enjoy the video um and i hope next time it will be better <laughs> a little bit bye bye